Have you ever wondered why it's such a struggle? Have you ever asked yourself why it's a dangerous world? Why our societies function the way they do? Why it's such a struggle and why you have to pay to be alive? And so what you find is a society in which people are thoroughly programmed. And they're not only programmed by the society, they're programmed by their parents, they're programmed by the institutions they attend, and eventually they're programmed by themselves because they maintain their own programming. And really when you step back and look at it, folks, what you find is that human consciousness itself has been brutalized by the system that ensnares it and enslaves it. And it is this programming, this brutalization of human consciousness that results in all of the hardship and the division and the stress that we find ourselves living within. When you really step back and you see what's going on in the world, how much is humanity prepared to take? Where is your line in the sand? What causes the division that creates all of the problems? And people just have to realise that, and it really doesn't take much for people to realise it if they can simply find the time to step back and look at the situation. Because it's really right there in front of your eyes, if you choose to see it. We are right now at a turning point in history. I think it's an extremely important time. That's the thing about history, folks. We never really realise that we're in it. We seem to perceive it as something that has come before, but we don't really realise that it's happening all the time and that what we are doing right now is making history. And it's a really important time, folks, because it's the first time in history that mankind has had any real opportunity for true freedom. What I'm saying is that you are man, you are living, breathing flesh and blood. And man is the top of the food chain. It's just that certain men have maneuvered themselves to the top of the tribe of man and they have imposed systems of control upon other people. And because the society that they've structured around us is based on the economic model rather than the humanitarian model, then all we see is a world of endless suffering in order to support a commercial system. And because it's a system based on permanent growth, then of course the only natural result of this system is the discarding of all life and the depletion of all resources on this planet. It's very important for people to remember that these self-styled rulers who have claimed dominion over this world are just people. They're no better or no worse than anybody else, and you don't have to do what they say. And if you operate out of respect, respect for people when you talk to them, but also respect for yourself. Don't take a backward step to these people. Don't insult them. Don't attack them. Simply know who and what you are and stand in the power that you inherently have and help other people to do the same. And that's how we address the system. Start leading by example in all you do. I really believe that is the key and that is how we change the world. Because there's only one problem, folks. And that problem is the rampant corruption of the government itself, the rampant corruption of the politicians who operate within the parameters of government, and the disempowerment of the people that this system has promoted and sustained. And stand in solidarity with each other. Stand in respect for each other. Stand in respect for your community, folks, because by respecting your community, you are respecting your life, you're respecting your children, you're respecting the society that you live in. You're respecting creation. You're respecting reality. And if anything that these politicians do, anything at all that they do that requires you to act in a way that is not respectful of your community, not respectful of your environment, not respectful of yourself and not beneficial to yourself, your environment and your community, anything that they demand of you that does not meet those parameters needs to be disregarded. But they only get away with it because we go along with it And we only go along with it because, one, we don't know it's there. We are not aware of the system itself. And, two, we're kept in a state where we remain subservient to the system due to fear. It's all based on fear, folks. The entire system that controls us is fear-based mind control. 
And I think people are waking up to that as well. And that's why this is such a wonderful opportunity, folks. And that's why this is the first time in history that we've actually had this opportunity for real freedom right at our fingertips. Because never before in history has the workings of this system been laid so bare. Never before in history have we had something like the internet and the means of conveying this information to people. The means of uniting the human species on a global scale through the medium of the internet. And so it is a real opportunity for us. We've got more awareness on the planet now than we've ever had in all of recorded history. And I think we need to take advantage of this situation and we need to seize the opportunity that this is providing for us with both hands. I can see the solution right before our eyes and I can see that our freedom is so close and so within our grasp. All we have to do is reach out and grab it.